coming on the heels of an equally violent by elections at Ayawaso West Wogon is further testimony of the MPP's government's grand scheme to apply violence and other undemocratic intimidation tactics to rig the elections and perpetuate itself in power against the will of the people. A further confirmation of this grand agenda is contained in an MPP lead audio capturing the voice of the Deputy Regional Minister of Brown East Region, addressing a session of the MPP Invisible Forces and Delta Forces at a meeting held deep in the night at a secret location, immediately before their deployment to cause mayhem in most parts of the country during the registration exercise. This was the General Secretary of the Opposition National Democratic Congress, Johnson Asedin Ketia, at an NDC press conference, alleging that the Member of Parliament for Tichiman North and Deputy Bono East Regional Minister Martin Otijako is attempting to plot mayhem in the build-up to the 2020 general elections. In this leaked audio, the Deputy Regional Minister was caught giving explicit instructions to the MPP vigilante to, among other things, maim and, if possible, commit murder where necessary with the promise of state protection and reward instead of prosecution. The New Patriotic Party, through its regional secretary, Mr. David Boache, at the party's regional office, is urging the general public to treat the allegations with the contempt it deserves. Ladies and gentlemen, it may interest you to know that Lies, when told and continuously be told, repeatedly sounds as truth in the ears of the unsuspecting public. It is against this backdrop that the new patriotic party, Bono East Region, has invited you to set the record straight once and for all. Friends of the media, you may have heard the General Secretary of the Opposition National Democratic Congress, Mr. Johnson, I see doing here, for some time now been referring on every NDC platform on electoral commission's issues, refer to a purported voice urging violence attributing to the Honorable Martin Otijako, MP for Techiman North, and Deputy Bono East Regional Minister. However, ladies and gentlemen, the said tape is not, and we want to repeat with emphasis that the tape is not the voice of Honorable Martin Otijako. The party is therefore calling on the NDC General Secretary to refrain from referring to the alleged tape as an indication that the NPP is plotting violence ahead of the general elections. The Bono East Regional Party is calling on Mr. Esedun Ketia to from hence refrain from his unfounded allegation against a hard-working and humble member of parliament. We expect him at his level in politics to have a team of assistants to research and authenticate issues for him before he comments on them to avoid embarrassing himself at his age and level in politics. They again called on the regional police command to rearrest the originator of the tape for further investigations. We therefore call in on the police and the BNI who first handled the case to immediately rearrest Mr. Emmanuel Kwashi to help hasten their investigation to help bring finality to this tape issue. The New Patriotic Party is also urging the NDC to stick to issues pertaining to the 2020 campaign and refrain from acts of unwanted destructions in the build-up to the 2020 polls. Reporting for Joy News, Anas Sabit, Tichiman.